So this was the finish line. As you can see, the water is moving rather rapidly. It's annoying, I can't really do my interview. We haven't been able to relocate any of our boats. Perhaps they got stolen by some of the uh, debris or they've actually traveled really far. Right then, so, Justin, tell us, what was your boat made of? A milk carton in the shape of a Viking long boat. It had a small weight on the front of it in the form of a bottle cap. <laughs> And why did you think that you were going to win this race? Because it was the simplest design and I thought that was the way to go. Well, what Unfortunately, do you... I don't think that happened. <laughs> because, yeah. The more complex ones were at either end. Yes. Josh, what was yours made from? Uh, Coke cans, uh, two Coke cans, two cotton buds, a spoon, a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't make a pop pop boat out of flammable material. Ah yes, of course, we had a previous fail. I won without the power of steam, well I came second without the power of steam, I wasn't <laughs> at one point. So. You were, it's true, and then the, the fast currents caught me and I went rushing ahead. Luke, what did you make yours out of? Um, a bottle of vanilla coke, a bottle of cherry coke, <laughs> uh, a blue off license bag and uh, a lot of electric <laughs> So what do you think went wrong back there? Um, everything <laughs> possible. I think the negative distance <laughs> beginning finishing further away from the finish than I started. If we'd have gone with the wind was on your side, I, know, I think I'm, you would have I'm pretty like, sour about that wind. Wind. I was like, wind power, go. <laughs> wind is a fickle mix. So for my end of my 365 project, I totally won a boat race made out of a, a water bottle, two clothes pegs, and a piece of skewer. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. For the win. <laughs>